important information and facts that support our reasoning on thinking every U.S. citizen should have health care. For starters, what is health care? It is a type of insurance coverage that pays for medical and surgical expenses that are charged by a health expert. Citizens who have health care pay a fee every month called a monthly premium in order to have their medical care and needs covered. One of the many advantages to health care or health insurance is that there are many types to choose from so that you can find what fits you and your needs best. There are ones that support your family, your financial situation, and any of the other top priorities you may have. There is something called the marketplace that shows you and shows you your options and lets you see the prices and preview many plans that it chooses for you after you fill out an application and answer a few questions. In other words, it's very it's relatively easy to apply for health care and it has many great outcomes. One um, on the other hand, there is Obamacare. This includes private health insurance and federally sponsored health plans, health care plans. It doesn't create health insurance plans. You can buy health insurance outside of Obamacare, though, and in many cases, this will save you money. Also, no one plans to get sick or hurt, but most people will need medical help at some point. Health care covers those costs and protects you from paying a bunch of money, plus the insurance companies can't cancel your coverage because you get sick or because you made a mistake on the application. Insurance companies also can't deny coverage or charge more because of pre-existing conditions which works out great because I found that 129 million non-elderly Americans have some type of pre-existing condition, including 17.6 million children. Healthcare really helps people like this. Also, as you can tell, healthcare companies slash the government aren't just trying to get money from you. A matter of fact, 80 cents of every premium dollar goes to your specific care. The government is actually really trying to help us out. Yes. A total of 95.8% citizens said their health is good, very good, or even excellent. 46.3 million people in the United States, or 15.4% of the U.S. population, didn't have health insurance in 2008. And because of the health care law, 8.7 million Americans will gain maturity coverage, which is also great without, because without health insurance, the, co the average cost of having a baby in a hospital is $2,000. Another fact that shows how beneficial health care is, is that 62.1% of all bankruptcies in 2007 were related to health care expenses, or medical expenses. Also, when someone's sick, they don't want to have to worry about paying for their care. It's nice to have a peace of mind and to know that they won't, they won't be in medical debt, that an accident won't drain their account, and that they can go to the doctor when needed, and that um, they can get the medicines they need to stay healthy. Another great thing about health care is that it is available in every state. It only takes one application to apply and or get health care. Once you fill out the one application, there are many great outcomes. Health care covers trips to the emergency room, your lab tests, your prescription drugs, care before and after your baby is born, treatment in the hospital for inpatient care, etc. And if you want to cancel your insurance plan at any point or you're terminated for not paying your premium payment on time, doesn't mean that you lose coverage immediately. There's a period that the insurance company provides where you can enroll for other plans and never, never not be covered. As I mentioned, the marketplace is a great and easy way to find plans that will fit you perfectly. It's open 24-7, there is help in 150 languages, there are over 27,000 trained assisters, and there are 14,000 people who are specifically assigned to answer your calls. In five months, 4.2 million people got their health care through the marketplace. This all proves that health care is the better way to go. against the Universal Health Healthcare Obamacare. We feel this because not all citizens wanted the Obamacare who did not have insurance before, but were forced to get it. And if they don't pay it, they're in trouble with the IRS. Obama thinks he's providing more Americans with access to affordable health insurance, improving health health care and health insurance, and reducing health care spending in the U.S., saying that. How is he doing this if he's making healthy people pay a fee for not having health care for a reason that they couldn't afford it before, or just maybe that they didn't think they didn't need it? Being uninsured is five times more cheaper than actually having insurance. That's five times more money they can use to support his or her family, ten times if it's a mother and father. Also do with high-cost health care, someone who is perfectly, the perfectly healthy has to pay the same amount of insurance as someone who is choose for smoking three packs a day. A total, like I said before, a total of 95.8% citizens said their health is very good or even excellent and they're having insurance, but yet we're forced to get it from Obamacare. 
Obama stated that before that he was elected, if we liked our insurance, that we could keep it. Unfortunately, that was all a lie. And even when you sucked in, you have to apply for the Obamacare. You want to read the regulations, right? Make sure you get every single little detail about the health, court, health care that you didn't even want before. Well, it turns out, um, it turns out there are over mel uh, 11 million words in the Obamacare regulations. To be exact, 11 million. 588,500 words. That's 30, that's 30 times longer than the law itself. Obamacare is, is unconstitutional. Obamacare is a plan to be taken away the rights of people by forcing the people of America to get health care. This requirement, also known as individual mandate, forces Americans to buy or secure health insurance under what? Congress, Congress claims under power to regulate commerce. Commerce means the activity of buying and selling. Among the several states, 26 of those states, plus National Federation of Independent Businesses, and have several individuals are challenging health care law, claiming it's illegal use of power by the federal government, and that violates the Constitution and under, undermines the principles of federalism. Although Obama thinks he's helping the citizens of the U.S. who didn't have insurance before and making sure they are covered when they are hurt, let's be honest, the only thing that's getting hurt is your wallets. Obamacare fails the American people on many levels, also penalizes Americans who choose not to participate.